Mm. Okay. What is up, guys? Uh, this is Zero Kills. Today, I'm going to uh, do a commentary and maybe um, just a short guide, I guess, on one of my favorite characters for League of Legends. Uh, what do you mean, League of Legends? For Mobile Legends, and it's going to be on Chao. Uh, even though. Even though, like, his passive is going to get nerfed the next patch, I think a lot of the things that I do here are still applicable, so if you're new to Chao and you learn him, or, like, you already have some experience with the guy, but you just want to, I don't know, like, step your game up even further, then I'm sure you'll find a lot of uh, very good information here. So, right off the bat, um... I just head to on the bo bottom lane. Well, you can go top lane too, but generally, it's better to go for top lane because um, it's easier to uh, to proxy the wave and then go go to your blue camp and then get it if your jungler is not gonna get the camps. But I got bot side for this one just for testing purposes. So yeah, uh, you'll notice that the first item I get is the uh, two hundred fifty gold jungle item. Um, it's also going to get to get nerfed next patch, which is pretty okay, but it'll still get the job done. Um, so first few um, minutes, uh, seconds of the game, I'm not really doing anything, just trying to last hit. Because um, apparently last hitting also gives you additional gold and maybe EXP, but I'm not really sure. So in this case, uh, I just want to get to a level 4 as fast as possible, because um, Charles is a gank potential with his pa passive and, you know, all those stuns is pretty strong. So, here, you can kind of see that you can use um, Chao's second dash, the skill, to evade some of the monster's attacks. Like, when you see that immune uh, text, it means that you evade everything. Um, you can also use your um, time, your first skill to knock up. Uh, knock up. So, the jungle camps don't take as much of your health um it's really powerful that way because that means like you can do your clears very fast and also very very um safely uh one thing that i you you can see is um after i attack i always make it a point to just move because um that charges up child's passive faster uh i'm not sure what the value is going to be for the next patch but it's actually doing twice as much as damage for like one auto so it's pretty strong um right here i see a uh, natalia just trying to jungle but she kind of misses and once i get to kill her she missed she missed her stun by second dash by the way um i head for these two guys uh normally normally i would have died right but you'll notice that um as you can see there that there was an immune and those two immune um, like those damage evasions, I guess, those dodges that I did, with the second skill at least, um, allowed me to get an easy 2v1. And right there I noticed that the en the enemy camp is there, so I just kill it. And since I'm way ahead and, you know, uh, doing fine, I get the 500 uh, jungle item upgrade. You don't really have to get it all the time, but for Chao, like as a jungle Chao, you want to get it. Because it becomes efficient once you kill like five monsters. Um, something very funny to note before that is, if you also noticed, I accidentally I accidentally bought two boots, so I had to sell one. Uh, right here, I could have done the blue buff, right? But I just had headed straight to my uh, Minotaur and the other Nate because I saw him getting in trouble, but I wasn't there in time. So right here, it's just the same thing. Um, normally this is, um, like a suicidal attempt, right? I'm low health, but still in the fight. And the reason why it's okay is because, well, apparently, our score is 1-6 one, one, right now, and I'm doing all the kills. Uh, right here, the same principle for turtle also applies, but you gotta time your second skill, the dash, um, right before he releases that little ball, the, bl the blue-white ball thing. Uh, and also you have to note is that since Chao's dash makes him move a short distance, you also have to time it properly because the turtle, the turtle's attack is actually a projectile. 
um, you'll see that I can also like do the dash comp dash uh, into the first skill and the first skill and then it'll refresh my dash again uh, and it really really allows Chow to get like these really good short bursts of speed that would otherwise make him like a really bad character because Chow's range is very pitiful when you think about it but if you combine the dashes with his resets from his first skill he actually gets to cover a lot of ground so here you can see that you know since I'm also invulnerable when I kick and when I dash Chow is actually a pretty good tower diver like He's like um, a Franco with a reverse hook, if, if you know what I mean. Like, he can pretty much kick a good, like, a good Chow can always kick any enemy, as long as they don't run Purify. Let me clear that up. Um, safely to their teammates. Because uh, if they run Purify, um, like, nobody uses it here, but I'm just going to say it just in case. If your enemy runs Purify, they completely stop. Chao's second skill, I mean ultimate, from letting him follow up. Like the only thing you can do with your ultimate against somebody who has purify is kick kick the person away. So right here, again, it's just the same principle. Uh, I use manual targeting. I don't know what it's exactly called, but it's the one where you can switch your targets anytime. I use manual targeting uh, to be able to dictate like who I want to kick. Who among my enemies is the one that I'm like I'm choosing to kick back on my teammates? Um, so right here, like we're um, pressuring the Layla. You'll notice that um, I do the same thing pretty much like dash, you know, stun dash, and then just kick the enemy as close to my teammates as possible. Um, you'll notice that I also can't do like most of my dash kicks as efficiently as possible like the distance i make my enemies go isn't exactly like the furthest from the tower but it's enough to get the job done if you ask me like um also with item compositions um i would recommend after you get the 500 gold jungle item right if you also run retribution um just to go straight for rapid boots and then tooth of greed like tooth of greed Combined with um, all the invulnerability and crowd control Chow has against monsters and even people Allows him to be very deceptively tanky like even if you'll notice that I don't have any tank items yet He's still very very strong and then once you get um, hunter strike the Chow survival survivability actually increases a little bit because even though he doesn't get any armor from Hunter Strike, of course, his cooldowns get lower. So that means he can dash farther, I mean dash more, evade skills more, knock up people, stun them, put him in CC, and basically generate enough movement so that his passive, the one that stuns on the next auto, is basically always active. So I think the enemy is going to surrender at this point and... Well, yeah, um, I hope you, like, learn a lot from this, because, um, even with the nerfs, I think Chow is still going to be pretty strong. You just won't get your stun up back, because the stun from the passive is pretty much gone, like, it's just a slow, but you'll still be able to do what they call the insect, you know, in, in League of Legends, like, when Lee Sin warps and then throws the enemy to... Uh, like away from their tower or to their teammates and stuff like that that thing's like unchanged for the most part i would guess so yeah final score is 17-4 of course we win um one thing that i also like to like uh mention right levels are very important in this game because um whoever gets to level four first generally has access to um i don't know like greater kill potential or greater ganking potential or like just basically more pressure overall over the map um because ultimates actually determine the game if it if they're used right so yeah there you go i hope you enjoy my commentary and this is zero kill signing off for today